Hi and welcome to this how-to about a common problem in Ubuntu's network configuration file. A common situation is that you should switch from dynamic host configuration or dynamic IP to static IP on a server. And now you're doing the changes to the configuration file with your editor. And now the network configuration is saved and you should simply restart the network. So log out and log in on the terminal. And now simply doing a reboot of the network so the new configuration get in and there you get an error message about an invalid configuration file with an error on line 26 in this case. If we now take a look on the config file again. Here is the correct one, here is the faulty one. You probably have taken a look on the manual page for Ubuntu and you can see this is more or less a copy of what we have here. But this config file don't work. You maybe try everything and you stop here, line 26. What is wrong with line 26? Actually nothing. It is the line below line 26 which are wrong in this case. If you now try to use comment to test what is wrong with the config file, as long as you have this rows active you will get an error. But you can see that this correct configuration and this configuration which are incorrect are nearly identical. So here we have a very sneaky problem. You have probably caused this problem yourself by doing as you have been told and learn. Indentate your file. And I now push the arrow key to the right one step. Here is the marker. Now is the marker there. This part of the file are indentated with tab. That is wrong. In the old config file for older version of Ubuntu, when you have the config file in etc network interfaces, which no longer are used, there was tab allow, but not in the new one which are stored in etc net plane. Don't try to do what they say in the manual here, create a new file that will not solve the problem. Simply remove the tab and the problem will go away. I have now inactivate the faulty configuration and activate the correct configuration here. I have inactivated this line because I don't have any domain here. So save the file and exit and log out because if the configuration work that will kill the secure shell connection so I need the real terminal here. And I have made 
some experiment. So I should have the command for applying the new network configuration here. And if everything are right now, nothing will happen. Nothing happens. And if we now give IP add, we should be able to see that now the address have switched from 76 at the end to 51. Here we have loopback, but down here we have the address and we see that it is 51. And if we now try to log in again, we use the new IP. And there we get in and we should have two connection if we take a look here and we have two connection one from the terminal and one from the secure shell here is another bonus tips when you're dealing with the config file you sometimes make some error so running net plane in debugging mode can be helpful and you simply give sudo netplane flag debug and after that apply and you will get a more longer version and in this case nothing is wrong and the new configuration are apply as it should that was everything i have to show you thank you to all of you who are watching and are subscriber have a nice day In the mini series about Ubuntu Server 18.4, you will be familiarized about how to install Ubuntu Server from CD-ROM and USB memory. Thank you for your time.